Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we will play as the triple question mark character known as the Blue Baby. Blue Baby starts off with the poop. He can create poops wherever he wants, and can only have soul hearts. That's really the main thing with this character. Thus it makes taking damage a little bit less fun than it ordinarily is, and therefore I will try to avoid that as much as possible. Hoping to get some good items. I might try to go for angel rooms if I'm not going to get a lot of health, but we'll see what the run brings, I suppose. It can be good to blow up your poops every now and then to try and get coins out of it as well. It makes your shops a little bit better, but... I tend to be a little lazy with it because it's uh, it's just a little bit fiddly in it. So hopefully I won't be having to do that too much. Also this particular champion with the magnetizing effect, not having a great day. <laughs> but fortunately we managed to make it end eventually. There's a reasonable chance there's a super secret room at the edge of this room, however. I don't think I'm going to bother with that just yet instead. Let's move on. Maybe if we get some more bombs, it might be worth trying out. Also with these tiny spiders, it's nice to just have one run at you so you can dodge them a little bit more easily. They tend to more or less arrive at the same time if they don't fire. This time around, they decided to uh, move fairly individually from each other, but it ended up working out with only one of them running towards me that way. But let us just move on. So for one of each consumable, so if we get the trinket known as Equality, we get some sort of effect. I think if you have Equality and you uh, have 111 or just the same number in all the different consumable slots, you get twice the amount of consumables to drop or something like that. Effectively irrelevant, we don't have the trinket, but it's one of those situations that virtually never happens in any realistic scenario. But it's something you, I guess, could try and go for if you so desired, and that's part of the excitement, I suppose. I do want to see my item room, though, because, once again, any way to get health is uh, is just nice. It's just really good. That's not health, but it is good. Ghost Pepper is just a very strong item with the flames that come out every now and then. Potato Peeler doesn't... Mmm, I don't think it works on this character, so I'd rather not. Also, the converter on this character is actually sort of interesting in that it gives you a red heart, but it also, or it it usually tries to remove a red heart, and then it gives you a soul heart in return. But with this character, it both removes and gives a soul heart. And that can be specifically useful in cases where you have a trinket that activates when you use an item or something like that. So there is cases where the converter does become kind of useful on this character. There's also an item called Birthright in the game now, which I believe gives you twice as much health for each health item that you pick up on this character. And if you combine that with converter, you're effectively invulnerable because I think it takes away one heart and then gives you two. But that's, that's a ways away. We don't have that unlocked yet, so we're... Definitely not going to see that. Let's just shoot some flames at this shopkeeper as well. And I guess I should do the same thing. I actually for once remembered that this is an option. Let's just make sure we have five coins for the next floor. We might get an arcade room that way. I suppose with the flames it might be worthwhile to try and go for boss rush again. However, uh, with our current health, I'm not sure if I want to risk that. There is an arcade room here. I could play uh, this machine once. We get uh, a nice message at the top. Let's do it one more time. And then just move on. Probably could have played that a little bit longer. We also have at least some extra health compared to what we started off with, I suppose. But overall, I wouldn't mind trying to get a little bit more here and there. Also, if the flames happened a little bit more frequent, well, just getting one at random is pretty good. Once again, Iron Bar, the seemingly most common item that I've uh, gotten in all of my runs so far. It seems to show up every single time, which is fair enough, I suppose. It's not the worst item, so I'll take it every time. 
Let's see if War of Secret Room is over here. I did place it kind of weirdly in the arcade room, but it wasn't there either. Ah, that's unfortunate. Then I don't really know. Oh, I could be on this room, actually. This is the kind of room where that does tend to be next to a secret room after all. So I might try this just for fun, just for me. Thank you very much. That's the super secret room. Never mind. <laughs> Actually, no idea where my secret room is. Fair enough. The money would have been nice. I might check my shop for soul hearts, I suppose. But other than that, there's nothing I really want. I guess I could get my bomb back. And since I just randomly ran into two enemies, it might be worthwhile again. Yeah, to check for a soul heart just in case. Arguably, it might have been better not to just run into the enemy like that, but, I mean, these are the kind of choices you have to make during a run, you know? Two more coins. I suppose just for the sake of getting coins, it might be worthwhile to also do that, but at the same time, I don't know. On the one hand, I kind of want to go for Devil Deal, or for Angel Rooms, rather, and if I don't go into the Devil Deal, then... I will only have angel room chance on the next floor as well, so that is worth considering. It is also worth considering not shooting the enemies here while they're running at me because it means they're going to move kind of unpredictably. But at the same time, I, I'm a busy person, I got things to do, and therefore I will just fire wildly and hope for the best. We got some health. I think I'm just going to go for angel rooms actually. So, because I didn't go in, you can see my Angel Room chance in the bottom left be at 33% and my Devil Deal percent at zero. So it is a little bit more likely nowadays to actually try and go for Angel Rooms. Uh, for one, because you can manipulate the chances a little bit more, but also uh, in the case of Mega Satan, it is nice that it's, it's a bit more likely to just be able to do it at all rather than being entirely luck dependent. I think technically if you do all the floors, and you basically wait until you get your first angel room, then it, it's pretty high odds that you're going to get a second one somewhere along the line. But there is, after the first angel room, I think you just get devil deal chance again, so it's not guaranteed still. It's just the odds are more in your favor now, and I can appreciate that. For now though, let's move on. There is a soul heart here, which I like. There is a key here as well, which I'll take. And that shopkeeper dropped five coins. Interestingly enough, your uh, angel room percent also goes up when you destroy shopkeepers. So that works out in our favor. It's a good thing we bought that shop. This is an item I need to pick up at some point, I suppose, but not with this character. I think I'll, I'll take that at some point when I have a better build. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like this build is too terrible, but my stats are uh, more or less base at this point. It's it's largely been the flame doing most of the damage here, but I don't know. Let's, uh, I should probably just explore this a little bit more. I think if I'm going for angel rooms, I wouldn't mind trying to blow up the angel statues as well. With the flames, that shouldn't be any problem at all. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I have zero keys left. It is definitely a good idea to try and go for golden chests right now. Hopefully that'll work out. Otherwise, uh, I'll regret it. But I'm sure that we'll find a way to forgive ourselves for these transgressions. Also, I wouldn't mind trying to go to the cathedral this run. Because I think if I beat the boss of the cathedral with the blue baby... Then I think Isaac will start with the D6 from that point on, and that makes Isaac so much better than what he usually has in terms of kit, which is just very default. So if I don't get any angel rooms or stuff like that, then it does become more tempting to do that. That is the question mark card, which, I mean, it has its uses. It's not for this item, perhaps, but perhaps we'll find an active item somewhere. That will make life a little easier. Let's put our coins at 15. And then question where our secret room could possibly be. Mm, don't love this room too much with these stats either. I would like to see a flame one of these days. But our, I mean, our tears are good enough, I suppose, to just kill most of the enemies first and then kill the last tiny spider that way instead. Not really sure what I'm looking for in this floor at this point, but really just consumables would be kind of nice. Any type of consumables I would 
more or less appreciate. If we can get a tinted rock or something, golden chest would be kind of nice right now because we do have that golden key, so we can just open all of them without really having to think about it. There is still a golden chest on the way to the boss, but I think we have to blow up a mushroom to uh, get there a little bit safely. And I kind of want to make sure that I have at least one bomb remaining for the angel room as well, so... Let's see what options we have. There is a sacrifice room there as well, but I don't love it on this character. There's instances where it is pretty good. Like if you have scapular on this character, then sacrifice rooms do become a lot more tempting because you're always going to be at soul hearts anyway, so you might as well play it kind of dangerously. But occasionally getting the extra angel room chance from the sacrifice room might be good for you as well. So, yeah, there's options. Let's get that golden chest, though. I'm genuinely not sure. I mean, my secret room could be next to the shop, I guess, yeah. And while that mushroom was there, it was basically more or less impossible to get that chest without taking damage in my current situation. We did get uh, a thing there. We got some... a soul heart is what we got there. That's the thing that I was trying to convey. And I'm not sure if I want to blow up all the shopkeepers, but I, at least the one that has the coins in his eyes would be kind of nice to get destroyed. This is a little tedious though. I kind of hope we get luck up somewhere along the line and uh, didn't actually get a coin for our efforts, unfortunately. And it is kind of tempting to try and destroy all of the various shopkeepers in case I do end up dropping something useful, but no. It's peep again. It's peep every run. But we have flames and they do help out a lot during this fight. Even if there's only so many flames, this is uh, worrisome, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the uh, creep on the floor would disappear, but it, it was not, it was not going. Fortunately, we have decent health right now, so it's not too big of a deal. But he is jumping around a lot right now. But I think we're gonna be okay here. One hit of damage, that's acceptable, I suppose. Didn't get an angel room which makes it less likely to try and destroy all of the angel statues that way, or at least the two that I require. Plus, I'm still very tempted to just go to the cathedral instead, actually. And given the speed at which this run is going, I don't feel like I'm getting boss rush either. So maybe I should just keep that as the goal and just take my time with it, have some fun with this character. Because it is just one of those things we have to do the cathedral five times as well before we uh, find our way forward to the next part of that journey. Theoretically, we could try to go to the blue womb as well, but I don't love that idea. Don't really love getting hit there either, but I decided on all of these things instead. Just to make sure that my gut feeling on whether or not I was going to enjoy it or not was correct. And indeed... Taking a full heart of damage because you ran face first into a champion was less than preferable. But yeah, if, we, if we get a run where we at least get tier 8 or anything, I'd be more tempted. But so far, we we have just gotten the, the fire. <laughs> the fire is more or less carrying the rest of this run. The rest of our items are... They're, like, they're not bad. They're just not great individually. So I'd rather play this run a little bit safer and see if we can actually make it to the end with what we have. Let's just destroy this for good measure. Kind of hoping to get my bomb back that way as well, but that was not a guarantee, I suppose. And there might be a secret room over here, actually. Also, the blue flames destroy red flames, so that's pretty convenient since otherwise they might have been attacking us at the same time as well. Which does make life a little bit more tricky when there's already so many things trying to destroy you. Not a secret room there, really. I'm not really sure where it could be then. Because I don't think it could be in that large middle thing with all the rooms next to it. Because I think one of the rooms had no access to it. But maybe I'm just misremembering. Genuinely not sure right now. I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough. I'm tempted to try now, but let's just check out this room one more time. Is it just here? No, there, there was rocks at the top of that room. Never mind. I remember now. It was indeed not to be. But this, on the other hand, 
Okay, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe just trying random walls is not the way to go anymore. It worked out for a pretty long while, I'm not gonna lie, but it, it has eventually lost its effectiveness somewhere along the line, unfortunately. Ooh, it might be there though, and that would be convenient because then we would be able to go into our curse room as well. And our item room using zero keys. That would be lovely. Let's try that one. This time not even a random wall. It's actually kind of thought out for once. So that's that's kind of nice. Let's just destroy those. There is a cursed eye and a guppy's tail. Just, you know. I was kind of hoping for a third item in that one, but you can only get so much. Still don't love cursed eye, so I will just leave that alone. But... I do love the headless baby. Uh, it's part of the conjoined transformation after all. It uh, drops a bunch of red stuff on the floor that deals damage. Like, look at that. It, it killed that one spider enemy who decided to stand still in it. So, is it bad? Absolutely not. I will try to get a key, I suppose, because I wouldn't mind trying to go into my shop with the many coins that we have. But I, once again... I've been using all my consumables at random rather than <laughs> very thought out. I might destroy some of the mushrooms in my secret room as well because there could be an item in one of them. It is a lot of mushrooms that you can destroy that way as well. So it would be kind of worthwhile to at least try. It's, it's still a very low percent chance that you actually get an item out of a mushroom. Even just getting pills these days feels fairly unlikely. But at the same time, if you do get that magic mushroom, it immediately becomes worth it. So at least trying it from time to time does become a little bit more appealing for the lucky times where you actually do get something out of it. But I guess that's pretty much the whole game. You really just have to try to make the most out of every run that you get and that way. Eventually you'll uh, end up losing a lot of gambles on that, I suppose, and trying to uh, get items out of mushrooms. But the one time you do win, it does make that run oh so much easier. And what else am I going to do with all of these bombs anyway? Might as well use them there. I think uh, our super secret room is pretty close to the boss room there. So I might try and go for that. Although that room does tend to confuse me a little bit if I go in it from the right side. So hopefully that's not going to be too bad. Just going to blow up all of them, I believe. There's a couple pills here. Uh, huh. Full health, that's useless on this character. Explosive diarrhea is uh, many bombs and infested. Well, you know, oh, there was still another pill over there as well. All right. <laughs> you cannot win them all, unfortunately. However, we did get a key somewhere on this floor so we can fight greed and hopefully get that 50% off for our remaining shops. Surely that is going to happen. Can you please step into the flames? Yes, it does make these fights significantly easier. We get a large quantity of money instead. But given that there are at least two shops remaining, it does mean that we can put that into our donation machine there. And it is our super secret room right here. Uh, AWAS is available. There is also a champion here, which concerns me a bit. But I don't think we need AWAS as much anymore. So, hmm, I might take Yara in case I find some soul hearts somewhere, I guess. I could just use Awa's here in, in case it spawns a trap door, but it didn't. It just made a uh, thing to go to the next floor. That one did as well. I thought it only had the effects of things you already, or things you hadn't unlocked yet, but I'm getting like Yara effects from this as well, so that's kind of unusual. But maybe I'm misunderstanding. Either way, Yara can be a pretty good way to get some extra health. If you use it on stuff like the first room of the dark room, then you can duplicate all those chests at the start and get twice as many items. Like, there's a couple places where Yara is just very powerful. But I mostly just want to get some items or something out of it. I just also realized that uh, <laughs> I don't have any bombs anymore. So I cannot even blow up the angel statue if I wanted to. I don't really know how the Urn of Soul works. Um, there is... Yeah, I'm just gonna try it. Because there is a challenge with this item and it's more or less horrendous, but I think it's because 
in that challenge you don't you aren't able to shoot tears i believe and that does make this item a lot more frustrating however if i have it combined with being able to shoot tears i'm a little bit more curious about it so i think if i kill enemies now it's going to make uh little light bubbles fly towards me and if that's the case then I think after that I can use the item. I think it just keeps track of how many enemies you killed as well. Like, yeah, uh, now that it says times one. And I think if I try to use the item after this, it will have an effect. Let's just first clear this room, though. Uh, it seems to cap at 20. But that that seems pretty fun. So I'm, I'm a little curious on how this item actually works when not put under extreme constraints at the same time but so far it looks pretty fun it seems to uh deal more damage than our tears at least from the very brief experience i saw there but let's see if that's true i mean that does work rather well it's just a lot of flames in it <laughs> yeah yeah a little curious i uh Never really had a chance to play around with this item, so I'm excited to see how I can uh, hopefully use this somewhat effectively. It is slightly affected by the thing in the middle there. But the fact that we keep getting souls back every time we kill an enemy does make life a little nicer. Curious if this affects it. Because it's not really tears. I don't know. Hard to tell if that really did anything, but I kind of doubt it. It also stops tears from going towards you because, well, you, it's flames. So that's actually pretty strong as well. This item's pretty fun. I uh, I don't mind this. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, I mean, we are the blue baby, so it only makes sense that we get a largely blue build. We get blue flames from our tears. We get blue flames from our active item. We just get a lot of blue stuff. So... That ex that's exciting. Let's destroy that black poop in the middle for the stun effect. We now once again have a chance for both a devil deal and an angel room. I would like to just explore the rest of this floor for a bit because time-wise this run is going to take a minute. So I might as well uh, make the most out of it, I suppose. I don't think I currently have any type of spectral tears with this item, unfortunately, which would actually help out a decent bit because... Uh, Having all those rocks in the way is not great. Also, I need to look out for that statue at the top. It's going to shoot three tears at me if I get close to it, so I need to look out for that. It's a pretty wide arc as well, so not that difficult to avoid, but if you just run like left or right, you do need to walk pretty far before you actually start dodging it. I uh, wouldn't mind a key somewhere either, but we did pick up that guppy's tail out of our own hubris for some reason, and... Uh, that is starting to bite us in the butt because it's turning a lot of our drops into golden chests. If we can get a golden key somewhere, that would be ideal. But perhaps I will be able... Nope, cannot actually bomb into our item room either. Alright, well, let's see if this works. I would say it does, but yeah, a golden key would really save this floor right now because... I just don't have <laughs> I don't have the uh, the keys required to open all of these things. No, nope. oh, one key. Oh, we do have the trinket as well. So hopefully that should give us a few more keys as well. We just need to find coins. <laughs> and theoretically, I could get coins out of golden chests, I suppose. But oh, this is a lot of fun, though. <laughs> oh, that's so many flames, and it's just insta killing some of these things. I don't know how well it's going to work in later floors, I guess, but so far this is incredible. It's a little unwieldy at times. It takes it it has its little charge up before it actually starts firing. But the fact that it just destroys the tears as well. I love that so much because it does make this a lot safer to use. And uh, yeah, it just makes life a lot easier that way, so I appreciate that. And being able to just switch on and off really is just really nice i could have yared the key <laughs> uh, and then i would have had at least two keys however i did not did not make that choice might be a secret room here no really it's not here i don't think it was 
might be here then, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, definitely not there. Yeah, I guess it's... I didn't, do not want to pick that up. I do not want to lose my flat penny. It's my only source of keys right now. And quite frankly, I need them. Yeah, three, five coins. Boop, 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 boop. Well, at least I can go into my shop and my item room, so that's something. But I, uh, I would love to just open a couple of these golden chests, you know? That's pretty good. That's going to cause a poison cloud every time I enter a previously unentered room, so it has a tendency to kill the weaker enemies, but its damage is based on your tier damage, which isn't amazing currently. Uh, I will just put a bunch of coins in here. Hopefully we can get a luck up this way and get some more flames that way as well. We got an angel room chance, and that is more or less it. Now we got tears up, so that's actually pretty good. And you know what? Yeah, let's just do that. Two pickups, one of which was a key, so I guess I can appreciate that. I'm just gonna open one golden chest. I'm, I'm feeling feeling good. I feel I feel like I got a decent chance here. Look at that little haunt immediately. It was worth. <laughs> But yeah, because of chaos, devil deals become a lot less tempting uh, due to the fact that you have to sacrifice health for usually garbage. Um, but angel room items might just show up anywhere. We can get shop items in our boss room, stuff like that. Also, I would say that that boss died pretty quickly to this item. The adversary usually doesn't die that quickly, I would say. And given the fact that our tier damage is still more or less... Uh, standard. I'm not disappointed by that. And the spider mod is kind of giving you an idea of how much damage these enemies are taking to my big green cloud. It killed those little poops in the previous room more or less instantly. The others, not so much. The underground enemies, not either, because I guess they're underground and therefore probably not breathing in the air. Seems like a reasonable reason. But it is something you need to look out for a little bit. But all in all, it's pretty good. We have one key and one library to open, so that uh, adds up perfectly. Oh, and the library is just filled with all sorts of things because of chaos, so that's pretty fun. Let's take this for the bombs, and I will just keep the rest. I, I guess I'll touch the other two items and briefly check my curse room with this glowing hourglass. If it's not terrible, then uh, that will be neat, but... More likely than not, I will just use that glowing hourglass to, uh, yeah, just go back. <laughs> Let's just take all that health back and not enter that room again. It is not worth the health required to get an item out of that beggar there. We do not have the key to open that door. There is a key in this room, but I, uh, I can reach it, I guess, if I do this. That does work. And perhaps some of these coins will give us some keys as well. Unfortunately not. Would be nice if we could just get a few more keys this run. But that's the way it is sometimes. That is Guppy's head, which is the second Guppy piece. If we can get a third part of that, we will be Guppy and therefore have flights and spawn flies and things. And that would be a pretty good deal. Obviously not going to be guaranteed that we're going to get Guppy, but if we could, that would be lovely. I feel like I remember getting less souls from this item as well, but so far this thing is more or less good enough to just use on its own right now. Maybe I was just wasn't doing the challenge properly, because I didn't really give the challenges the time of day either, I suppose. But maybe, I don't know, maybe in the challenge it, it truly is just more difficult because you exclusively have to use this and it might just be easy to get to run out of souls I guess. I don't know. I'll have to do that at some point but eventually we'll just reach that challenge anyway so I'm sure we'll see it in action at some point and perhaps then my questions will be answered. So far though in a regular run do not mind it. I do not mind it at all. Let's check out our shop for the ventricle razor which isn't bad. It allows you to teleport between rooms, which is really the main thing. It also activates any trinket that requires you to activate an item, so 
if you have the broken remote, you can use it to just teleport all over the place. Um, because every time you use your item, it technically counts as using your item. It doesn't have a charge. So you can just keep spamming it. So it, it does have some instances where it's good. There uh, appears to be a secret room here that more or less opened itself, which is lovely. I haven't gotten either of these two pills yet, which concerns me slightly. And we have Verp now, which might be that pill we unlocked the other day. And I think it was just because we got so many items in one run. I think there is one for just getting 50 items or something like that. And because we got the R key, we just ended up with a lot of stuff. But I'm not exactly sure how many items we actually ended up getting during that run and if that's what happened there. But the fact that we have Verp unlocked is pretty great because it means that you just get a copy of the last pill you ate. And that can be really good. It can just be really good. Simple as that. What can also be really good is getting health. <laughs> and so far, I have uh, yet to see a lot of it. Right now, my health situation is getting a little bit dire with the amount of things that I've seen, but I haven't really been actively paying attention for Tinted Rocks either. There is at least a key in this room, which I can appreciate. Plus, we do still have the Yera card, as w or the Yera rune as well. So if we do get a couple soul hearts, maybe from this machine, I'm probably going to blow up that beggar right there as well with some of our bombs. But if we just get a, get a couple of... Soul hearts in this room. Or a trinket that I don't particularly want to have. That's also an option, I suppose. We could duplicate it with the era. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, perhaps we can get some money out of these machines. Nope, just garbage. Well, let's see if we can make this work somehow. And yeah, the gas cloud is doing a lot of work. Just checking out for Tinted Rocks real quick, but I don't immediately see one. Our super secret room is possibly near the boss room or possibly just in an awkward spot. And I'm concerned about the ladder there. Also, if we go through the um, boss room door there, we will not be able to go back. So. Anything that I would like to do right now, I should do. I will just open this for fun. We got two keys out of that for the price of one, so that's pretty good. We got a luck up as well. We did get a soul heart. And I think I'm yeah. just going to do this. Just try to get as many keys out of this as possible. Get a couple of soul hearts that way. And now... We won't have to worry about our key count for a while. And I can also open up that golden chest over there. Which has the miter inside of it, which is pretty good. All in all, not truly regretting my choices, which I can appreciate. I could just play the arcade machine for a little bit longer as well to see if any of these 21 coins could turn into a soul heart. Arguably, it could also become the Crystal Ball, which could also be pretty good. Although I don't think that I want to give up my current active item, even though the Crystal Ball is so good. Having said that, hmm, it might be worthwhile if I do get it. Uh, it's a tricky one. And just like this, actually, this is also such a good trinket, but I wouldn't mind the chance for keys. The chance for keys is pretty solid when you have Guppy's tail as well. And every single golden chest can contain an item. And because we have chaos, it can be just anything as well. So it is kind of great sometimes. I think I'll just go like this. There is Mom's foot. Let's just set everything on fire. It is the red one. It was a little difficult to see there, but not impossible. Uh -huh. One more, please. Yeah, not like that, though. I was paying attention to the hand. There we go. That more or less solved itself. That is a devil deal, which I'm not loving. <laughs> it has the habit inside of it, which doesn't really do anything for me right now. So with that, onwards we go. We have the negative... 
so that is nice. It is a damage up these days, which I don't think I ever actually pointed out, but it didn't used to be a damage up. And the fact that it is a damage up just makes it so much better now than it used to be. So that is kind of cool. I could use my Hermit card to just kind of go somewhere. Not sure if that's what I want to do right now, though, but it's an option. But simultaneously, I wouldn't mind trying to find some more health either. Uh, this is this tricky room. It tends to catch me off guard at least a little bit, but our speed is high enough that we don't have to worry about all the tears there. There is the full card, which is not bad. We already have the Hermit, though, so I don't think I'm going to bother with the full card, but... It can be nice to be able to just teleport out of a room. But with the Hermit, I should be able to do that same thing as well. So instead, let's just move on. The uh, the green cloud is doing some pretty decent work in some of these rooms. Like, we're not even seeing all of the enemies from time to time now, so that's pretty nice. Even though our damage isn't even that high, it, it's still pretty effective. It's not that much higher from base damage. Well, base damage, I think, for this character is like three or something, so three point something, I assume. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good hit. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I saw that a little bit late there. Oh, well. That might be the end of our infinite keys, unfortunately, but uh, we'll just have to make do there. At least uh, the bosses will take a little bit of extra damage when the room starts, so that's kind of nice. If we find the matchstick somewhere, I'm actually tempted, because I don't love... I don't love this trinket in general, but I also don't love it on this character because he doesn't get the effect of healing a red heart every time you enter a boss room, so... Not great so far. Having just a little bit of trouble today, I don't know. Having some weird hits here and there, which I'd rather not take, but look at that. It's just filled to the brim with tears. Maybe it's just also that I'm not having like a completely overpowered build, which is throwing me off. It's been a minute since I've had a kind of regular build, I guess. And it's still giving me just soul hearts randomly at times, but it's still... It's, it's unusual to have to play the game again after all this time, you know? But let's see... At least most of the regular enemies are dying or are close to death most of the time when I enter a room. Uh, and the golden chests aren't really giving us great items. They are giving us items, but that's, that's all that can be really said about it. Not really sure where my secret... Never mind. Found it. Now let's just destroy the shopkeeper because I think we can still get a little bit more chance of stuff. There we go. I wouldn't mind trying to find a little bit more health in the shape of like a tinted rock. I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. <laughs> Uh, because that looks pretty dicey, but fair enough. I should be using my active item more often as well, but I'm not. And I'm genuinely not sure where my super secret room is. I always have a bit of a difficulty on this floor, but I'm just going to try this room. Mate, nope, nope, not going to try this room, actually. Because that's just a bunch of rocks over there. Oh, well. If it's not over here, I think I will just move on to the boss instead. Yeah. All right, there is bloat, and I think rather than try out our brand new strategy that seems to work all the, all the time real good, I'll just go with the flames strategy of having many flames, and that seems to work out pretty good as well. This gives us more health. Uh, the orbiting spectral tears I don't love, but I kind of like the idea of getting the seraphim transformation, or just... Oh god, why though? Um, so this is raw liver, that's really good. This is mysterious liquid, which actually isn't terrible either. I think I'll just take the health, but the fact of the matter is there's two angel statues and a lot of purple flames which are going to try and attack us. That was really close. And I kind of want to get rid of those before I start fighting angels. But if we can get these angel statues destroyed, then we will be able to go to the thingy there. Also, the tick is actually dealing pretty decent damage to these angels, <laughs> I'm just realizing. But the flame, I will say, is also doing pretty good against specifically that. Yeah. 
This is gone immediately. So that's an entire key and one angel room. Pretty good, pretty irregular. We got a lot of our health back in that room as well. And I think we're one step away from getting the Seraphim transformation as well. So if we now have the guaranteed chance to go to the lamb, I, I guess I'll do it. Uh, even if it's somewhat begrudgingly, because I kind of want to unlock the D6 for Isaac, but we did just get the key, you know? Get a soul heart from Justice card, that's also pretty unlikely, I think. Pretty sure that's not guaranteed on this character, but I'm not 100% sure now, actually. But I feel like that I, I'd be happier with the Justice card if it was guaranteed, but that, that, that might have changed. In the days, I suppose. It's been a while since I've actually done a proper Lou Baby run. Uh, it took a while before Chaos... What? I was gonna say, it took a while before Chaos really started to pay out there, but eventually... It did end up being pretty good. <laughs> that raw liver is usually a secret room item. And it does give you two heart containers, I believe, so... It is pretty great. And let's see what is in here. It is still mom's heart, so it might not be guaranteed that we can get a devil deal here. Uh, <laughs> let's just set everything on fire there. It was not guaranteed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's actually really frustrating. I had a lot of ideas during this. Uh, Truth be told, it might not work out right now if we cannot actually go into a specific direction. I thought that at this point I would have had that unlocked, unfortunately. Ah, uh, I was unfortunately confused about how unlocks work. So we might, unless we can find some way to enter our devil deal, it might just end here. And that is... That kind of puts a damper on things. I, ju I just started having a good build. <laughs> uh, that's the way it is, unfortunately. At least I'm like 90% sure that the following runs, it will be guaranteed. But it's still a little annoying, and it is still a little bit annoying for sure. I could go into the arcade room, I suppose. I don't know what I'm expecting to find here. <laughs> well, this is a shell game, at least. We can get some progress towards having played the shell game many times, but my goodness. Ah. <laughs> of all the things that I could possibly forget about, that one is possibly the most disappointing. <laughs> but ultimately, there's only so much you can do about it. I think I will look for my super secret room, actually. So it is always that chance. And let's see if we can find something in there. I don't love those flying enemies with the helmet because they are kind of tricky. There's a library here. That's fun. I am just sort of <laughs> running into everything now. Ah, prayer card. I think that's that's not Seraphim, really. I wouldn't have thought that was, but I guess prayer card isn't actually part of that transformation, huh? Fair enough. I kind of thought it was. It just seems like one of those items, but maybe I just always kind of assumed it was and never actually verified it. No, oh, well. There is technically a chance, I think, that the Hermit card can take you to the I Am Era room, right? Is that true? I don't know if that's true. Would be nice. It would save the run. But I'm gonna say... Unlikely. <laughs> Uh, ah. I'm just gonna explore. I, I guess I can just go into my curse room as well. I could open those two remaining golden chests uh, and this room right here. And I think that is just about it. Unless I can actually genuinely find my super secret room somewhere. Uh, that's a little bit of more damage than one probably should take. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, Hermit, take me up. All right, that just put me in a random room. <laughs> yeah, that was the more likely outcome of that one, unfortunately, but it would have been nice. Sometimes you just got to dream, you know? But there's a couple places that I can at least try to get a uh, super secret room. There's not that many places either from the look of things. Let's try that one first. With a golden brimstone bomb. Does look very cool, though. 
So that is, uh, that's really the most important part, that the golden brimstone bomb looks very cool. Because I don't think I've ever seen it before, actually, so it's pretty exciting. Let's try here. And, all right, I was going to try on the top right as well, but that's not necessary. I don't know if there's anything for playing on this machine a hundred times, but at least it's something to put our money in, I suppose. But perhaps this machine will give us a goat head through the power of chaos. You don't know. It's... I think you might know. I think there's a decent chance that you do know. At least it gave us an Emperor card so we can more quickly go inside that chest right there. Ah... Uh, yeah, that does appear to be the end of our shenaniganry right here. Oh well, at least I had some fun. It's, uh... Blue Baby is kind of an interesting character, at least, in that it does become a little bit more tricky. Damage is a lot more unforgiving in this character as well. I'm gonna blow this one up. And it's kind of nice to actually have to play the game from time to time. Plus, I got to try out this thing, and I actually really enjoyed this. Plus, combined with the, the the rotating tears that are occasionally shooting at the same time I'm using this, I that's a pretty weird combination, but I love it. Ay ay ay. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. And we unlock a new challenge, 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 and we unlock a new challenge. And the basement is burning, which is not wonderful. <laughs> but I, I suppose that's pretty good. We, uh, we got a lot of the challenges unlocked at this point, actually, so I might have to see if I can play a couple of these, because there is, uh, there's a couple of them. But we got some progress as the blue baby. And unfortunately, some things that we could not avoid. <laughs> At least, well, maybe we could have if we played our Devil Deal chances a bit better here and there by not blowing up shopkeepers, but I misunderstood where I was. <laughs> but with that, I hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, I will at least be guaranteed to go further than the mom's heart, but I might do a challenge or something like that. I don't, I don't really know yet, but we'll see next time, and I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.